The following program is part of Cable in the Classroom, a service of the cable television industry and your local cable company. Today on the Weather Classroom, the truth about twisters, tornadoes. I'm Dennis Smith from the Weather Channel. Today on the Weather Classroom, we're looking at tornadoes. We'll look at how tornadoes form, Tornado Alley, where many of the tornadoes occur. We'll even make a tornado in a bottle. Let's start by taking a closer look at these spectacular storms. Tornado on the ground. You've seen them on the news and in the movies. Tornadoes, huge whirling funnels of destruction. What causes them, and why do they always seem to strike in the same parts of the country? Tornado Alley, the part of the United States where most of the tornadoes are spawned each year. The name refers to a geographic corridor in the U.S. that stretches north from Texas to Nebraska and Iowa. In terms of sheer numbers, this section of the country has historically received the most tornadoes. Tornadoes also frequent the southeastern states. Why? The unique geography of Tornado Alley helps produce favorable conditions for the development of both supercell thunderstorms and tornadoes. The Gulf of Mexico provides an ample source of moist air. From the Rocky Mountains, dry air in the mid and upper levels of the troposphere is drawn into the mix. This enhances a favorable environment for severe weather. Did you know tornadoes that move over lakes have been known to lift fish out of the water, raining down on land farther away? Tornadoes are violently spinning columns of air that extend from the base of a cloud, usually a thunderstorm, to the ground. They can have wind speeds in excess of 250 miles an hour. How does such a powerful windstorm happen? The mysteries of tornado formation are still being studied. It is believed that winds blowing from different directions in the lowest three kilometers of the atmosphere create a favorable environment for tornado development. This condition, known as wind shear, can cause horizontal spinning in the atmosphere. In the presence of a thunderstorm updraft, this horizontal spin can be tilted, resulting in a vertically oriented spinning column. As the spinning column interacts with the updraft, it is stretched, causing the column to spin faster and faster, like a figure skater spins faster when the arms are drawn in toward the body. Tornadoes can vary greatly in terms of their length, width, direction of movement, and speed. The median path length of a tornado is just under one mile, while its path width averages 50 yards, half the length of a football field. The funnel cloud turns dark because of the dust inside it, making the funnel cloud visible. Did you know the energy within a tornado is equivalent to the amount of energy needed to light the streets of New York City for one night? Here's a way to create a small tornado in your classroom. You will need a glass jar, water, dishwashing liquid, marbles, or other small objects. Fill the jar with water. Place a few marbles into the jar. Put three drops of dishwashing liquid into the water. Replace the lid tightly. Shake the jar in a circular motion so that the marbles spin around the walls of the jar. What do you see? The spinning motion creates a vortex that you can see with the dishwashing liquid. This is like the twisted shape of a tornado. 
There is no official tornado season in the United States. Tornadoes can occur during any month of the year, but the months with the greatest number of tornadoes overall are April, May, and June. The times of tornado outbreaks vary in different regions of the country. In the southeast, the peak season for tornadoes is February through April. In the northern plains, tornadoes are most likely to develop in July and August. Did you know whirlwinds that form on sunny, calm days are called dust devils? They can be about 100 feet high. Let's talk about what we've learned today. Tornado Alley refers to a region of the U.S. that stretches from Texas north to Nebraska and Iowa. This region has historically received the most tornadoes. Tornadoes are violently spinning columns of air that extend from the base of a cloud, usually a thunderstorm, to the ground. There is no official tornado season in the U.S., but April, May, and June are the months with the greatest number of tornadoes. That's it. Another edition of The Weather Classroom. See you next time. Before severe weather strikes, be prepared with Project SafeSide. Tornadoes are very difficult to predict. They can occur in any state at any time, but are most prevalent April through July. They are usually spawned by thunderstorms, but not always, and can appear without warning. Your best defense is to be alert and prepared. Learn more about what you can do to protect yourself and your family. Go online with Project SafeSide. Project SafeSide, a continuing series from the Weather Channel and the American Red Cross. The Weather Classroom is also available on the Internet. Point your browser to www.weather.com slash education, where you will find the Weather Classroom schedule, teacher activities, glossary terms, and more. You can also learn more about other activities from the Weather Channel's Education Department.